Okay, so you had seen my, you had, why am I talking like this? You had seen my summer makeup haul and I showed this clean color peel and seal eyebrow tint gel stuff. Supposedly you paint your eyebrows on with it, you let it completely dry, you peel it off and your brows are stained and they're smudge proof, wear proof, waterproof, everything like that. So um, there are no directions on here at all whatsoever. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get on the website and see if I can find some directions. By the way, how cute are these little pom-poms and these earrings? I got them at Hot Topic. They have all kinds of these huge hoop heart earrings and I got the pastel set. They are so cute. Like it reminds me of the 90s and as you guys know I have uh, my first holes are uh, like gauged so I have to hang them in my second holes which I haven't worn earrings in in like eons but they're holding up pretty well and they're doing pretty good and they're toughing it out and I am obsessed with them so much. Okay, is a waterproof peel off tint that lasts for 12 hours. It's easy. Just brush on a generous amount following your brow's natural shape and wait for it to dry completely. Once dry, peel off from the tail of the eyebrow. So you peel off outward in. You'll be left with natural looking brow color with fantastic staying power. For a richer color, let gel sit on brows a while longer or you can repeat the process. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off one of my eyebrows so I can use the other one kind of as a guide while I do one of them and then I'll take off the other one and match it to the other. Does that make sense? If my foundation comes off too, so be it. I mean, uh, I'm assuming they want you to do it on a clean surface anyway. As you can see, I have a little bit of brow hair, not much, so I, I draw my brows on. Um, so that's what my natural eyebrow looks like. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is instead of using this like terrifying brush applicator, I am not about to put on my eyebrows like that. So I'm going to grab a different um, brush really quick that I can apply that with. I just grabbed one of my flat Morphe brushes. This is not an eyebrow brush, but I'm going to use it as one because my other eyebrow brush is dirty with my normal eyebrow things. So I'm going to zoom you guys in. Let's get up all close and personal so you can see all my pores, the hair in my nose. Okay, maybe not that close. Now that you guys can get a zoom up on all my imperfections here. <laughs> so I'm gonna just take this little brush. I'm gonna set the little bottle aside and I'm just gonna kind of hold the brush in these fingers and just kind of pick up product off of it. Does that make sense? I hope so. Okay. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> okay, so now I'm just going to try and match up my eyebrows with this stuff. I don't know how quickly you're supposed to work. I don't know how fast it dries. This doesn't seem to be applying very thick. So will I need this? Let's, let's just, oh my gosh, it's terrifying. Okay. <laughs> it's so dark. All right, people. We're doing something. I'm assuming that if you like make a mess up or a smudge or something, you can just kind of wipe it away with a makeup wipe or a q-tip or something. I don't know if this is supposed to just tint your brow hair or if it's supposed to tint your skin. But again, we're going to find out. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this guy up and I'm going to take off my other eyebrow while this one's drying, and then I'm gonna paint this one on to match that one. I hope they're good. <laughs> they're so dark! Are those even? I feel like they're as even as they're gonna get. If they come out this dark, I... <laughs> it'll be cool because it'll be a guide, but I'll have to like foundation the crap out of them to like soften them up and cover them a bit. And I don't know how long we're supposed to wait. So I guess I'll see you guys in like, what, 10, 15 minutes? I don't know how long I'm supposed to wait. So uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in like 10 or 15 minutes. I'm back. 
quick tip, quick advice of being a YouTuber, always have a minimum of two camera batteries and keep them both charged at all times um, because if one dies you can just grab the other one and pop it in the camera. You don't have to wait for the battery to charge completely before trying to film again. Uh, I just ordered a third battery from the Canon website because then I can get even more filming done in one setting. Just make sure that the other one is constantly charged or charging while you're filming because you would hate to have your battery die and then go to grab the other one and it be dead too. I've also had that happen, so uh, yeah. Anyway, let's peel off these eyebrows. It says peel from the tail. Oh my gosh, it's literally, or is that my hair? Oh my gosh, okay, so it's peeling. Can you see it? It's like there's a little loop right here, a little swirly piggy tail. Okay, it's peeling. I peeled off a piece. Can you see it? I peeled off a piece. So far, I am not seeing any tinting. Not on my brows and not on my skin. Okay, let's keep going. Okay. Okay, let's keep going. I had this idea that it would just peel off in one clean swoop or one clean sweep, but <laughs> my expectations were set a little too high. Okay, so here's the result. I don't think I'm convinced, guys. Okay, let's just peel off the other one and see what happens. Okay, it said you could leave it on longer or just repeat the process. I feel like, okay, it did do something. It did something, you guys. It's not a huge waste. And mind you, this product is $4. So my expectations weren't through the roof with it, especially since it's like not the original Wonder Brow or whatever that thing is. So here's the progress. I don't, I'm not convinced yet. I'm not convinced. It says you can repeat the process or leave it on longer. Should I repeat the process and leave it on longer? I don't know you guys, but these little brow flakes, look at how creepy they look. Ah, it looks like a little spider. Just like, look, it looks like a creepy bug. Look how gross that looks. Ew. So. I'm gonna go ahead and go for, I don't know, like 20 minutes this time, 20 minutes. Should I go for like, what time is it? 8.20? Uh, yeah, let's go to like 8.45. I'll see you guys in a bit. <laughs> All right, guys, take two. It has been... Uh, 30 minutes I set my alarm for I set my timer for 25 minutes and I waited five minutes because I had to go refill my water bottle but uh, yeah it's been half an hour that this stuff has been on so let's try peeling it off now round two da, 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 da. okay so I'm feeling like I needed ah oh, that one was really stuck I feel like I needed a darker shade. Yes? No? Maybe so? I don't know. I don't feel comfortable about this product just yet. I feel like I might have to get a darker shade, which sucks because this was the only shade that they had left in stock on their website, but I really wanted to try it out. So... I don't know guys, did it work? Like, I might have to watch the footage back and compare my original, ah, and compare my original brow to the after. But I feel, I feel like it did tint it, like it did. With this one especially, you can tell that it did do something. It did something, I don't know exactly what it did, but it did something, so. Yeah, I don't know. 
Let me know your guys' opinions in the comment section below. This was definitely a miss for me. Uh, again, that could just be because I was dumb and got the wrong shade. But if you're someone who wants a light brown eyebrows, uh, you would think that it would like tint better than this. Is it supposed to tint the skin or is it just supposed to tint the brows? I feel like I'm on a completely different wavelength than the people who have tried these products out. I don't know. Let me know your opinions. Do you think it worked? Do you think I need to try a darker shade? Like, should I get on a different website somewhere and try to find a darker shade? Or should I just invest in the better quality brand once and try that one instead? I don't know. You guys be the judges. Let me know in the comments down below. Let me hear all the positivity and negativity and all those opinions. Yeah, with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go. I will talk to you guys next time. So, until then, so long, stay strong, stay true, and be you. Alright, bye!